Hey folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly review Monster Sanctuary. This is a game that you can find on Steam's Early Access program for about 18 bucks. I stress Early Access, that means the game is still under development, and as such, everything that you're about to see is subject to change, including this review. So, what is Monster Sanctuary? Well, I've been reviewing a lot of these Pokemon games as of late. Uh, Temtem... Nexomon. Well, Monster Sanctuary is kind of similar to that. It's a Metrovania 2D side-scrolling 3v3 battler. It's a mouthful, but that's the gist of it. You pick a character, one of two characters. It's either male or female. The red uh, outfit is the male one, and the blue outfit is the female. Um, and then you go around the environment. There is some light platforming involved. Very light. Uh, I've, I'm in two hours into it. And so far, it's not like I have to jump across chasms or I die. N and it's nothing to the extent of like Mario Brothers, but I, I can't speak for the rest of the game. Um, but you will find chests in weird places. So sometimes you might have to jump a little bit, platform a little bit to get to them. It's no big deal, honestly. Um, but you're going to find these creatures in the environment. When you touch one, you warp into this 3v3 battler screen. You've got a team of six. Now, you can hold more than six, but you have six main creatures that you can have in your team, and then three of them go in to do the battling for you. And each of these monsters is strong or weak in different areas. One creature might be strong with fire and then weak with water. So if any water attacks will do more damage against them, um, and, and so on. What's really cool is that each creature has their own skill tree. As they level up, you can assign points to different skills. And I'm not talking, yeah, there's maybe 10 skills and you can... No, we're talking some meaty skill trees here. Uh, the one creature, uh, the Cat Zerker, had five different skill trees. And I think like 15 skills in each, maybe 20 and, you know, one of them, three of them were, like, offense-based, but then one was, like, regeneration, uh, there was some defensive and party buffs. So, just because you find something called a cat zerker, doesn't mean you have to use them for offense. Or just because you find a magma pillar, or whatever they're called, you don't have to use them for fire attacks. Uh, in fact, my magma pillar that I have... Um, has shields and regeneration and can heal and, and do all sorts of great healing things. Um, he t when he takes damage or you know, when he does damage, he automatically gets a small shield. Um, he can apply a shield to the entire party. He can uh, just generally heal everyone as well. There's barriers. Uh, then I've got this Yeti walrus looking thing that uh, is like a tank it can there's a 25 percent chance that it can taunt but again that's only if you take that skill in that one skill tree you can bypass those and go for other offensive skills and just put everyone on offense if you want you know you create the create the team that you want is what i'm saying and i think that is what impressed me the most about monster sanctuary there's so many different ways to customize your team and to build creatures the way you want. And yes, you can catch more than one of a particular type of creature. I've got two cat zerkers, for example. I've got the second one in reserve in case I mess up and don't like the current cat zerker that I have. Um, another cool thing is that there is party XP share, meaning that just because you pick three monsters to battle for you in your 3v3, all six of your party members will gain experience when you win a battle, which is really nice. So, um, you know, if you're trying to level uh, particular characters, you don't have to, like, make sure you get in a hit with them in order to, to level them up. No, you don't have to worry about that. So as long as they're in your primary party there, um, they will gain levels and uh, skill points, respectively. And, you know, they'll you get to put points for them and, and make them stronger. Each character, or each uh, creature, rather, you can also give them a weapon and up to three accessories. And these accessories are things that will buff health or defense or crit chance or what have you. The weapons will do much the same thing. You can even feed them food to give them buffs. They, I think it's the last three food items that they've eaten, that's, that, those are the buffs that they retain. So if you don't like that third buff, then you can eat a fourth food and get rid of whatever. So yeah, 
there's a lot of different ways to customize these creatures. And again, that's what I like the most about this. In combat, it's also very, very uh, user-friendly. Um, for example, if you hover over an attack, it'll highlight all of the, the enemies. And you can see a shadow of the health bar of, of how much it'll take away should you attack with that. Um, that's not barring any sort of critical chance. Like, if there's a critical hit, it'll go more than that, but it'll still tell you what the estimated damage is going to be. That includes any resistances that, you know, they are... Any attacks that they're resistant to. So, um, that that's really cool. That way you can clearly see this attack is going to do a lot of damage, this attack isn't going to do a whole lot of damage, and so on, so on, so on. That's really cool. And then going into the fight, it'll give you a rundown of, okay, this this enemy can attack with this element, uh, so maybe I might want to bring this creature in that is resistant to that element, and so on. So, again, I'm about two hours into this. Um, there are super golem, there, there's these super creatures that you have to beat. Um, they can attack multiple times per round, um, and supposedly you should be able to control them, but I haven't gotten into that yet. Um, I haven't really gotten in any sort of, like, story other than, um, there is this beginning area. You talk to this trainer, and he, he teaches you things, and then you fight this super creature. Um, again, it took me two hours to get all that done. Um, and then I'm, I'm guess I'm moving on to the main game at this point. So, it seems like there's a lot of playtime that you can get out of this, too. Um, so yeah, I, 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 I it's still early access. I, I know that. Um, it's still early access, so I, I can't, like, for sure say that 100% chance that this game is going to get finished and it's going to be brilliant when it releases. I can't promise that. But as it stands right now, um, I was happy with it. In fact, I didn't know it was early a I got my key for it, my press key, and then I played it. And then after the fact, I found out that it was early access. I'm like, oh, it didn't feel like an early access game. I didn't encounter any bugs or any game breaking glitches. So like part of me was surprised to learn that it was early access. There are some early access games that you can tell they're early access. Monster Sanctuary, I'm glad to say, isn't one of those games. Um, I'm looking at the early access roadmap on the Steam store page. Uh, I'm looking at 100 monsters, expanded skill trees, mount ability, Steam achievements, new areas, 150 plus items and equipment, community requested features. Um, I was reading something about PvP and increased level caps, customization system. So um, again, that whole male female character in the beginning that I was talking about, it looks like you'll be able to customize a little bit more than what you can now. So it looks like this game is only going to get better. So, compared to the other Pokemon-style games that I've played, I'm playing this one out of all of them. I, I'm happy with it. I'm enjoying it. Um, yes, there is some strategy because, you know, you just can't throw three monsters into a combat situation when, you know, they're, they're, all of their attacks are fire and the enemies are resistant to fire. You know, you got to think a little bit before you jump into a match um, before you worry about it. Um, one thing I kind of don't like is the, at the end of every combat, you're given a score, uh, one to five stars based on a number of factors. Um, it's like how much health you had left and how much damage you inflicted. Uh, there's a combo system. So you're rated on all these different things and then you're given one to five stars. And the more stars that you earn, the better the score, the better the loot that you receive. And that's where the eggs drop, and these eggs are how you get more monsters. So it's like, if you're constantly doing one, two star scores, then those eggs may not drop as often for you as other players. So, you know, I don't like that. Um, I, 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 I can understand why the scoring system exists. It's just... You know, I, I was like when I was trying to play the game, like the tutorial and figuring things out, I was constantly getting two, three stars. I was still earning eggs, so I wasn't complaining and I was getting some loot. But, um, you know, for those that like to, to maximize and five star everything, good luck. Um, you know, so some people may like it. Some people may not. I'm I, I'm indifferent to it. Uh, I, I I don't know. Like there's a lot of hidden things there. Like, I wish I understood more how it worked. Um, and I don't want to, like, cheese it in order to get to five stars. Like, I, I, if I beat monsters, it's because I want to beat them my way, not because of some how some score, uh, some rating system wants me to beat them. You know what I mean? So that's the only thing I have a concern about. 
but that's like a drop in the pond compared to everything else in this game. I could spend hours in the skill trees in this game just trying to figure out the best combo of skills to use for these different creatures. I did come across, um, I think it was a potion that lets you reskill them. Like you can, you can reset their skills. So there are potions in the game and ways to reset skill points should you not pick ones that you like. Um, that way you don't have to keep training monsters over and over again and level them up appropriately. So yeah, Monster Sanctuary Early Access, still under development, but I'm liking it. I recommend it. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I happen to publish. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.